getting punishment from God, like you're never having these bad things happen to you as a result, you might want to check that you're even born again. That you're even a child of God. Because if you never, ever, 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 ever have gotten chastised and you just, nope, nope. You're a bastard. You're not a son. Because God will discipline all of his children. It happens. Now, it's not always immediate timing or something. It's not like you sin and it's just like, boom, like immediate. But it ought to be there. I mean, I can think back times in my life where, uh, and here's the way it works, too, because you're going to be like, well, how do I know if it's of God or not? You'll know. You'll know. Because it's going to be not normal what's going to end up happening to you as what would happen to everybody else. I remember getting severe punishment on something that I had done that was a crime that I was punished for a long time ago, something I did a long time ago. And the punishment handed down on me, like I was expecting to get what everybody else gets. First offense, nope. And that lasted years. legal problems for years over something that in the world if when it's done it's ch -ch -ch done those are the types of things okay that that you'll experience as a child of god and man what a headache what a bunch of problems to have to deal with but it means that God loves you and he wants to make it painful so you don't do it again. Right. So you could learn from it and just avoid it. Because it, here's the thing, if, if you start doing bad things and you don't have, it's not really a painful experience, you'd be a lot more likely to continue going down that path. And that's what you know, as parents, you look at your children and they start doing things. It's like, no, 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 we're going to cut this off right now. I don't want you going down, even, you know, taking these steps down this path. We're going to deal with this now. You're going to realize, hey, you start going this way. It's going to be bad now for you because in the end, it will be bad if you can't catch it early on. And you know what? That's what God wants to do for you, too. He wants to catch you when you're going down those paths and, and end up getting you some chastening and some punishment so that later on you can catch it. And he gave fair warning to all these churches. Let's learn from all these churches. Let's not become lukewarm. Let's not lose our zeal. Let's not try to fit in with the world and say, no, I don't want to be a peculiar people. I just want to, I want to have all these riches and money and wealth and that's all I care about. We do that as a church. God's not even going to recognize us as a church anymore. We need to maintain that zeal. And you know what? Try to help stir up and fire up other people to become more zealous. You know, zealous is, being zealous is infectious. We all experienced that yesterday. It's infectious. It's great. And I love that. Hopefully we were as much of encouragement to them as they were to us because, I mean, that was, that was so great being around a whole bunch of people that are fired up about serving God. And that's the attitude we need to keep. We need to make God our master, make sure we're serving him. Keep ourselves unspotted from the world as much as possible and be a peculiar people.